Hey guys, so in today's video, I don't know, I think I might be doing the food bank, no idea, but at the moment, let's just chat. So I just left a job interview and I think I did a good job. It's at a, like a cafe, no, it's like at a restaurant type thing because I worked at Target for six months. No, no, we can't, we, we can't do that again. Um, I'm not in retail girl era. I'm trying to be in my restaurant girl era right now. Retail, oh gosh, I worked at Target for six months and had to leave because of clown world customers. And when you like work in like those type of fields, like customer service, whether it be restaurant or job or like um, retail, you know, they're going to be crappy people there, but that does not excuse people to sexually harass you. Yes, I was, I literally was sexually harassed at Target. They didn't do anything about it which I was like, yeah, I'm not going to risk my life for $15 an hour. I know that's very extreme. We're off to an extreme start on this episode or YouTube video, whatever you want to call it. It was Clown World, like, the first time happened after, no, right before Valentine's Day. It was like a group of boys that looked like around my age. And it was so nasty what they said to me oh n oh by the way set by sexual harass like they said disgusting things towards me they didn't like touch me or go, go near me wait a minute one of them did wait i'll get into that but they didn't like touch me or anything like weird but they said something extremely inappropriate to me like those group of boys and it made me cry it, i literally was bawling my eyes out crying like right towards the end of my shift and she was like you know you can go home it's fine and i'm like i will go home and I stayed after that the first time. I tried not to think about it, but yeah, anyways. Fast forward a few weeks later. <sighs> this time it was a group, it was a different group of boys, but they looked younger. They were like probably like 15 or 16 years old. I'm not gonna tell any ages, but there was no way those boys were over 18. And I don't even want to say what they did because it was extremely like embarrassing to even like talk about. But I had the guts to tell the freaking AP security guy and they didn't do it. He didn't do anything about him. He didn't kick him out. And I'm like, are you serious? That was so clown world. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to dip. So yeah, I dipped. Now I'm on the job hunt. So yeah, good two minutes of the video. Jeez. So clown world. But yeah, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Hey guys, um, it's me editing this right now. I just want to clarify that besides like the rude customers, I actually really liked Target. And I've had like rude customers like in the past, but it was never to that extent of like the creepy boys. Um, It's sad because re I'll really miss my managers, coworkers and such. But yeah, those, the, the second time it happened, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I could not do it so yeah um just wanted to clarify that i had a good time besides the customers so yeah back to the video oh i filmed the video last week but i i might post it i might not i didn't really like i was talking way too much i mean i'm talking now it's been three minutes already but yeah before i go um i want to show you guys my backpack it's um it's a designer it's seven thousand dollars i mean look at this like what it's one of a kind okay i'm just kidding guys it's literally like two dollars from the thrift store probably you can find it anywhere that like maybe pay less or something i don't know i don't know where you can get this but i like it it i i don't wear it i just like hanging it like this i'm gonna start the trend in a few years when everyone is having their backpacks like this or like this it's gonna be because of me okay mark my words mark my words so first thing i have is the richest man in babylon and i'm on page 30 it's really good i like it um every time i learn a new word i write it down in my notebook so it can make me so we could well i guess help with my vocabulary because I'm trying to be more literate, more articulate. So let me show you an example. Back in June, I was reading The Count of Monte Cristo and here are like all like the words that I didn't know. So yeah, I just write, write them all down. And I know I if I felt like it actually helped my vocabulary and 
I kind of, I don't want to say I went through a depressive episode because, like, that's, like, very extreme, but I was just not okay, and I kind of just stopped reading. So, yeah, but I'm getting back into my reading girl era, and I'm getting back into my little notebook era, too, so, you know, they, those go hand in hand. And if you're wondering what luxurious pen I use, Bic, you already know. And then I have my El Salvador bag, because that is where my mother and father are from. I got this um, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. When I went to El Salvador, that was fun. Um, I say that, like, it wasn't... It was fine. Whatever. I have... I'm a Catholic in case of emergency, a place called Priest, you know. Gotta get that last rites, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it doesn't happen, but, you know. Also, call, call the ops. Call 911, please. In case, God forbid, oh my goodness, that'd be terrible. But, yeah. Um, I have Medicaid car, because, you know, hashtag poverty. Oh, I also was not, um, last year for some reason, even though, I don't know how we didn't qualify for Medicaid, but we didn't, and I was so scared, like, that entire time, because we didn't have health insurance, but we didn't qualify, which is so weird, because at that time, it was, like, single, because, like, single parent, I mean, still are, because, like, my dad's in prison, and my mom's, like, the only one that, like, works 40 hours a week. When I was at Target, I was working 25 to 30 hours a week. So, yeah, but I thought they would they'd give it to us, but, yeah, anyways. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Then I have my, I can't show you, my license. And then I have a credit card. I'm in my credit card girl era. I have Freedom Flexi, because I'm flexing on all the haters. And then I have hand sanitizer. Then I have, what else? I have a quarter. It's very filthy. It's from 1988. I have, did I show my hand sanitizer? I don't remember. I, 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 I literally did. Um, do I have anything else in here? I do not. Okay, so that's it for the video. Um, I'm probably gonna do like a uh, food bank, probably just like later. I don't know. This will probably be like a separate video since it's like literally seven minutes long. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. Bye. I also forgot to mention that I have an exam tomorrow and I don't know anything on it. It's on four chapters of chemistry. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, now goodbye.